Here's a shortcut I made to make my own packing list application. There's a bunch of them on the App Store. I couldn't seem to find one that I really liked. And the mechanics of this are actually pretty simple. There's a bunch of dictionary items with arrays, and I'm gonna explain that further in a minute. And then you're gonna choose from the dictionary. You're gonna take the selected items, and then you're gonna add them to a specific reminders list. And then at the end, you're gonna open up reminders to show it to you. The problem uh, that I have is reminders does not allow me to create a new list. There's not a shortcut action to create a new list. So you have to have an established list to receive these packing list items. So I'm gonna go over to reminders and add one. And we're gonna call it trip. I'm just gonna call it packing list. There we go. And uh, just because I wanna be fun, I'm going to add an icon to it. There's a train, done. All right, going back to shortcuts now, what have we done? Uh, we have this dictionary with array entries in it. And I did a whole video on dictionaries, but just to explain it, it's kind of like a variable list. And you can see the first one is called basics and there's nine items into it because it's an array. And you just type in each one of these items. And if I want to include the basic items, I'll check that off. Now the download is gonna include all of these, so you can go in and customize it as you want. Like if you don't journal, you can take the journal one out, but let me add one more just to show you how it works. We're adding a new item. It's going to be an array, and I'm gonna call this music, just in case I go on the road with my horn. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a few items. There'll be a saxophone. There'll be music, sheet music. and microphone. Sometimes I have to bring my own mic. Done. All right, so you can see I've added the music item. There's three items in the array. So that's the first thing of this shortcut is it gives you this big list and you get to choose from these which ones you want to bring on this particular trip. Then it chooses from dictionary and it's important that you're allowed to select multiple because you're going to want to check off more than one, but we don't want to select all because I'm never going to select them all. And then it uses a repeat action. It takes each selection and it takes each item in each selection and adds it to a reminders list. And now it just says add the reminders. I'm gonna tap on the word reminders. We're gonna select that packing list. So it specifically goes on the packing list. That's why it's important that you set up that list in advance. If you wanted, you could call it Europe trip list and you just need to make sure the shortcut matches whatever the name of the specific reminders list is. Then the last thing you do is I'm going to show it and I want to show the specific packing list. It's actually not that difficult of a script. You just got to wrap your head around dictionary arrays. Uh, but there it is. Let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to tap done. And then I'm going to tap on the icon here in the lower right for packing lists. And you can see there they all are. I'm going to bring my basics. I'm going to bring some clothing and my journal. And since we just added it, my music stuff. And then I'm gonna tap done. And it's going through pulling those items out of those arrays, adding it to reminders. And there's my packing list, you can see. There's my basics, there's some clothing, there's my journal stuff and my music stuff at the bottom. You can go ahead and download this. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as I made it for myself. So you may wanna delete and change some of the entries, but, but make it work for you. This is a great little shortcut. I use it every time I take a trip.